Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena and this is part two of my testing out these King Art brush pens. Um, a quick recap. Here you go. These are the swatches that I had done last video. If you want to see that video, Gosh, I don't know what that was. Anyways, there will be a link in the description below and one of those little eye bubble thingies. However, if the swatches are of absolutely no interest of you and you just want to get straight to the illustration, well then this is the video for you. So let's just get started on that. So my thoughts when I started filming, I actually had an idea in mind this time. More critters with crystals, crystalline horns. I'm not so sure it came out as well as I originally envisioned, but hey, sometimes them is just the breaks. Oh no, that means I'll need to draw it again at some point. Oh no! Okay, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, part of it was me just being a tad impatient with those horns. This is why I'd love to have more than one night a week to safely film without being rudely interrupted by screaming and profanity. I'm just gonna tell all of you gamers out there right now, if whatever it is you're playing is driving you to scream, curse, or put your head through the wall, then it's time to hang up the Discord call, turn off the game, and just do something else for a while. Like the dishes. Believe me, your roommates will thank you. Okay, moving on. Now, I must confess, before I made this video, I did play around with these pens while my friend was over, so I kinda knew a little what to expect from them. I actually think that you can use these without adding water. Maybe I'll try that out in another video? But let us begin by highlighting the good points about these pens. First off, I absolutely love the colors. These colors are absolutely beautiful. Very bright. I think my personal favorite is the teal. I love a good pretty teal. It just mm, makes me so insanely happy. I also love these fine, very flexible nylon tips. These tips are absolutely lovely to use. However, the ink flow is a little on the scratchy side, with some of the colors at least. Also, if you happen to find a set of these at one of those discount stores that sells art supplies but you don't normally think of as selling art supplies such as Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, or Tuesday Morning to name a few. 
you can get them at a pretty decent discount. I think that my friend paid about $13 for these, which isn't half bad. $13 was what I paid for my original set of King Art pens that I had traded to her for these, so, like, you know, it evens out. The only bad thing about these is that they can be a little streaky. Also, if you try to shake the pen to get the ink flow going, it just kind of splatters ink all over the inside of the cap. That's really the only bad thing I can think of. I'd certainly recommend these over the water brush pens that I used from Five Below. These ones, they just feel like they're better quality and better made. Another thing that I noticed in this set was a rather large ratio of greens and blues compared to other colors. So I rolled with it, obviously. That's kind of what determined my color palette here. Overall, I loved using these. The other thing that should be mentioned is that when introduced to water, these things will bleed into other colors. I consider this to be a mixed blessing myself because you can get some beautiful blending effects. Of course, sometimes you don't want that, so like I said, this is in mixed blessing territory. If you've ever used these King Art brush pens before, post below and let me know. As always, I love to hear what you guys have to say.
Okay, so my overall thoughts on these, they're, they're not half bad. I mean, now it's like I want to do a big comparison video with these things. Like, once I try out the other ones that I've gotten from Five Below, and of course there are the previous markers that I got from Five Below, and the Arteza brush pens. I mean, okay, I'm sorry, I'm interchanging pens and markers a lot, but um, what I mean are, are, are these types of things, okay? Okay? Sorry if that was a good idea. Uh, anyways, moving on. I enjoyed them, just like I enjoyed those other King Art markers. If you're curious about that, I will have a link in the description below so that you can take a look at that. And, okay, I'm just going to dump that on the floor. Um, this, this was just a lot of fun to work on. I, I like the bright colors, and you might have noticed I've got a weakness for those blues and greens um, and, and pink. Yeah, it's it, it, it's weird, it's wacky, it's different. I'm, I'm trying out more of those critters with crystals growing out of them because I can. <laughs> but I, I really, really liked the, the colors, even though like this is mixed media paper, but I think I was beginning to push it to its limit because it's beginning to bleed through the other side. And you can see just how much it buckled up, so... <laughs> Yeah, this this paper, I mean, like, it, it's been holding up to the abuse I've been putting it through, <laughs> let me put it that way. So, Master's Touch, kudos to you on that one. King Art, they're really kind of one of those, y y you've just got to try them. I mean, like, I wouldn't call them absolutely horrid, but they're not absolutely fantastic either. They are just kind of somewhere in the middle. But I have enjoyed using them regardless, so there is that. Well, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it helped you out in some way. If it did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. While we're at it, why not check out my Instagram at SilverHyenaArt. It would be so much appreciated. Thank you. Please follow. Please follow. Anyways, with that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!